The underground cities in Cappadocia have become famous worldwide, just as much as the unusual fairy chimneys that characterize the landscapes in the region. It is believed that the underground cities of Cappadocia were initially built during the 7th and 8th centuries BCE by the Phrygians, who carved their living spaces into the region's soft volcanic rock. There are around 200 cities in total in Cappadocia. One of the most famous underground cities in Cappadocia is Darren Koju, built during the Byzantine era, when its inhabitants used to protect themselves from Muslim Arabs during the Arab-Byzantine wars between 780 and 1180 CE. The multi-level city was composed of many passages and caves lying at around 60 meters 197 feet under the ground, and was able to shelter around 20,000 people as well as their livestock and it is certainly the deepest underground city in Cappadocia. It was not until 1923, after the population exchange between Greece and Turkey, that the underground cities were completely abundant and then not rediscovered until 1963. The story goes that during the renovation, a resident found a strange room behind the wall inside his house. Taran Kujou was open to visitors in 1969 with only half of the city available for viewing. The idea behind the underground cities was to protect the inhabitants from foreign invasion, allowing thousands of people to live their lives in total secrecy. During the 14th century, the caves provided Christians with a safe haven from the threat of the Mongolians during the assault on Temur. Even during the 20th century, they enabled people to save themselves from persecution during the Ottoman Empire. In its heyday, the city had two large stone doors that were closed from the inside in case of imminent danger. Though the inhabitants might have been hiding, they lived their lives to the fullest, as much as they would have in any above-ground town. Remains of wine cellars, stables and chapels have all been uncovered. One of the most striking spaces in Daran Kojo is the large room with vaulted ceilings which is believed to have been a religious school with separate study rooms. Jaren Kujou was also connected to the other underground cities through a sophisticated network of tunnels.